This is Laurie Walsh and interviewing Pam Richards on January 11th, 2015. Pam, hi. Hi, Laurie. Who are you? I'm just an ordinary person, just like everyone else. I have an angel name, Matika, and I have all of the same physical bodies as everyone else. I just have different places to play. These places to play that you have shared with me, I would love for you to be able to share with other people. So that's why we are filming this. What places do you have to play? I, I seem to have the ability to play in the place where people are calling home consciously. I can play in another dimension in my own backyard or in my own house. Um, I can't really tell you how to do it because we all have our own experiences, but maybe just by knowing that it's possible, it can open up something for you or other people who want the experience of a different kind of imagination or creation. That sounds fascinating. Can you give us a little bit about your background? Uh, I've, I haven't had, I haven't had any serious training, um, spiritual wise, religious wise. I was raised in an enormous family and we all knew love unconditionally. We all have the same more or less background. I don't have religious beliefs. I never acquired them. I wasn't required to acquire them. I was allowed to find my own way. Both of my parents have their own beliefs and they have as mine morphed into no beliefs. I don't, my beliefs change daily. What I believe is what I experience. And you don't have to have any kind of belief system to play. Okay, two questions pop up. Okay. You say you don't have a belief system or a religion, but I am aware of you reading the Bible. Yes, I read, I, I have read the Bible more than 16 times. I, I started, I, I did 16 times my 16th summer on this earth. And I did that because I had tried to study all of the religious things that were available to me and that they were really varied and lived on military bases so there were lots of them none of them resonated with me i did not feel comfortable anywhere but the only book in our house with religious you know religious wise things was the bible so i figured since it was there there had to be something there and i didn't necessarily find anything in it but i did find um, a comfort that it was all okay. Everything was okay. Was that from some certain scripture that you came up with that or was that just a feeling that you got from everything you read? It was a feeling that was acquired after I'd read it a great amount of times. It always when once you've read something and you go back and read it, it's going to say something different to you because what's at the beginning of a book is not the same as what's at the end of a book. But when you go back and read, then you can apply what's in that book to what the book started out as that you knew nothing about. So 16 times is a lot of times. Why 16 times? Because that's how many I got through before school started again. 
I was 16 years old, sitting out in my little window seat, my little seat in the sunshine, and I read very fast. And that's, and after a while, you just read it and it's just there. Did you learn something different every time you, you yes, read I it? Yes, I did. I, I, I gleaned from it different every time I read it. Okay, so then you use the word play. What do you mean by play? I mean that everything that we are, everything that we see, everything that we know, everything that we can imagine, even, even our greatest imagination is an illusion. And we have to play. We have to play this game. This is not a prison. This is, this is, a lot of people think the earth is the hell. It's not hell. There's no such thing as hell. Hell is what you make of it. Hell is a belief that you hold. This is our play. We have to play in order to live. Here. In bodies. <laughs> Here in bodies. Okay, so we speak of bodies. Most recently, you, we have had fun sharing some information about the light body. Would you share that with us now? What part would you like to know? What, ask me something. What, um, what is our light body? The, what we think of with the human imagination, what we think that a light body is, is a beautiful big mass of light. And act in actuality, you're wearing your light body right now. It is the combination of all of the bodies that comprise the physical form that moves like this. Um, the light body is able to travel. The light body is what you're going to wear when you get to that place where you think you're going to ascend to. When you won't be ascending, you'll be stepping into it because you will be wearing your light body. It won't be like you're going to go up to some magical thing. You're going to be stepping into it with a halfway physical body. What does the light body look like or feel like? Um, as far as my brain is able to translate, when I know that I'm in my light body, it looks like a human body. It has my attributes. It is neither male nor female, and yet it's a feminine type body because it's not, um, it's not broad shouldered or anything like that. It is a child's body, almost like a you don't have wrinkles. You're, you're like a nine-year-old child, only you're nine feet tall. But you don't know you're nine feet tall because you're in this body and everybody around you is the same as you. But Where you're do very you... big. Very big. That's interesting. Where do you... How have you been experiencing your light body? Where are you? What, like, what... <laughs> in your everyday life, is it a dream that you sleep? Well, we all go there. It's we all go home when we sleep. And if you awaken there, you're going to know if you if you literally wake up there and become conscious, consciously awake, you're going to know where that place is. It's a place where nothing moves until you do um kind of like the land of fay. A thousand years is a day. Well, one of the reasons is because unless you're there, there's no movement. You, your, your being knows no movement unless you're consciously awake in it. It is, I can't truthfully say that I know it's the fifth dimension or the sixth dimension or if it's a, I know that it is a different dimension. Um, it's the place where you left all your toys to go find 
which are the information that is going to come to you when you're conscious there. That's the place. So what do you mean by toys? Your toys would be all of the things that your brain is able to translate to you from that space because I know that I go there and there are times that I can't translate it and there are times when I go places I don't think I'm supposed to be because I'm pushed back out but you you know and you understand what you're doing while you're there when they're your things that you left to find you so left them yourself this belief system that we can't take anything with us we can't so that's like the form material form we can't take with us not this one but yet we do have our mm -hmm. toys per se right. that really are with us right they are with us they're 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 there but you have to go home to remember them here so where is home wherever it is what is home home is the place where you left your toys home is the place where you came from to get here I don't know Lord I don't know if it's a stepping stone and that's where we go and then we go someplace else and go home but I do know that that's where we launched from when we came to this earth. And I don't know where it is. I can't rightly say it's the fifth dimension. But to me, it would have to be the fifth dimension because I know that's where I'm going. Okay. <clears throat> so you said these light bodies are like these big, big beings. Right. Like nine feet tall or something yeah. if you were going to put Kids. a... Yeah. And does it have clothing on it? Okay, I, I, when I first went there, I was dressed as a young kid. I had rolled up blue jean shorts. And as I've progressed there, I have noticed that everyone now wears a, my brain has been able to visualize the clothing as a, kind of light colored soft flowing tunic wow yes. that's amazing um i would love to talk about this further but this video is starting to get long so let's do another segment can we do this again yes awesome thank you thank you Lori. thank you very much